Welcome back Stone the Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. Danny Stone here and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as Egypt going for the New Kingdom achievement. Anyway, we are very nearly there people. We are so damn close. All we need now is what Bambis has got here and we need these three tiny little uh, Phrygian tributaries on the coast here. We are so damn close. I can feel it in my balls. If you get what I mean, you can feel it in the testes. Um, so we need to get this done um, pretty quickly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the war against Bambis as soon as we get the claim going. Um, we'll get that quickly and then what we'll do is we'll get ready to do the last and final big war against uh, the fridge uh, for the land on the coast here in order to do the um, New Kingdom achievement. Um, anyway, off camera, what have I done? Well, I've built a lot of buildings, got a couple of forts in locations we could get them, moved some province capitals around left, right and centre in the newly acquired areas. I've also got a couple of troops um, being raised here, just trying to make a governor force so we can get the unrest down up here. Because we do have a little bit of unrest. And um, that is probably about it. I got some buildings as well. I think got some libraries going where I could get some to try and increase the tech rate even more. But 93%, which is bloody good for this considering the size of the realm. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. This has been really, really good fun. And even though we're coming to the very near end of the series, it has been an absolute blast. And it is going to be probably, or hopefully, if we can actually finish it, another achievement in the book. But anyway, enough of me rambling on here. Let's go for another tradition. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go for another tradition. I just want to keep it so I can get the extra morale for the troops, um, considering that um, it does really help in a battle. So I'm going to keep it just for the extra morale, um, and let's get rolling. So, cool. Anyway, our armies are moving back home. I've just got the mercs. I've kept them. I'm going to put them on the corner of Bambis here, and we'll go to war with these guys as soon as the claim's done. Hopefully, they won't ally anybody. I don't think they can anyway. They're a bit far away. And we need to go for some tech here. We can definitely go for the... Ooh, the head cap discipline. Yes, please. That is beautiful. Beautiful stuff, that. Uh, what else do I want? Export value? Probably want export value. Yeah, let's give us some of that export value. That is more money. That is, like, nice stuff. I mean, anything nice, gold, and shiny is definitely what we want to take. Kiosks, they want wine. Be my guest, fellas. And who were dying here, by the way? Of course, it's the governor army. They've just spawned, and of course, they spawn with no food, so the game considers them to be dying. Um, we're going to put them... I'll put them in Antigonea, to be honest. I think that is the best place to put them. And this is the um, Governor Force. You've got more units coming as well. The more the better. The more the merrier. All this to get the unrest down and hopefully speed up the um, assimilation speed, which is going pretty well, actually. I mean, most of it down in Egypt, Samanaika, and all this that is Meroitic now. It's slowly going to start creeping up here now. What about the religious-wise now? I think we've still got a way to go on that one. Yeah, we have. We've nearly all of the um, Arabic coastline uh, that we conquered is pretty much changed. Um, Axum has changed to Arabic now. That is interesting. Yeah, um, I think it was Max who put that in the comments. I completely forgot. Uh, I, did, I just remembered that he told me that the, um, the uh, Axum, our client, has turned to the Arabic religion. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, patrons of the arts. So a high king is expected to be a patron of the arts. Artistic depictions of the king cement legitimacy in the eyes of the people. Do they now? Yeah, well, I'm not paying 900 gold for an extra 0.20 boost to legitimacy at the moment. No way. No way, Jose. Not going to happen. Need the gold for the things. Notably buying inventions. How much do we make, by the way? Yeah, we only make 23 for the moment. Well, that's normal because um, we've got these mercs hired. And we've got a fair few of them. So I'm going to put you on unit reorganization quickly. Our main armies are marching back home. I'll just put them back home and keep them kind of down here like you. You've arrived. Drill. Thank you. Um, where's the one? Oh no, we've got a and we've got a Merc army in Antigonea, haven't we? God damn it! There we go. So let's get this one. Put you on the border over here. Can you not move? Or are you not loyal? Oh, you are. You're moving. I was thinking, why aren't you fucking moving? I should probably take you off Force March as well, to be honest. How many Mercs do I have? I think I have two Merc bands. Yeah, I have two Merc bands. They're both here, which is fine. I'll put you on unit organization. We'll quickly get your morale back up. The governor force now is going to go back into Antigonea. We'll join them together, and then we shall put them on um, governor control, and then we'll drill. Got some troops still moving back home. We're still allied with nobody, which is good. It's not going to take very long to wipe these guys out, really. I think he's only got three pieces of land. It really isn't going to take very long. Uh, let's merge you together. 
drill. There we go. So this should get unrest down a bit, and it's got it down quite well, actually. The governor local troops minus 2.66 to unrest. So that's all very good. It's all going to speed up the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the assimilation. I've got a load of theatres and temples, by the way, in all the cities. I've built a load all over the place, just to really speed things up. Okay, so these guys are at full pelt. That's good. How long is the claim nearly finished now? 34%. When does it get done? 1st of April, 4, 6, 7. It'll take it a bit of time, to be honest. Anyway, someone died of dysentery. This disloyal dude, Ansiar commanded, he was one that was really annoying because he's now dead, which is good. Jesus Christ, you have way too many uh, slaves in there. I might have to move some into Antigonea, to be honest. From Gindaros. Yeah, I'll move some from Gindaros. So I'll move Pops here. Where's Gindaros there? Okay, that's better. And here we need to go for an aqueduct then to like actually support the pots with moving in. Okay. Now, what about in our capital? How much food do we, we have? A little, not too much. Could do with some more. Probably should go for another trade route if we can at some point. I could turn it into a uh, metropolis as well. I don't know if it already is one. No, it's not. But again, it just costs a lot of political influence to do so. And we don't have it, and it's like needed for other things. Anyway, you're back home. Drill time. The king is back home, so it's time to drill as well. The others, where are they moving? They're all moving back home as well, which is good. And we are nearly ready. Still got no allies, which is fantastic. I probably should get some claims going over here. Um, let's get a claim on Biblos. Fabricate a claim. Let's fabricate claims over all of these guys here. North Phoenicia, and we'll fabricate a claim over you. Fabricate a claim. They have a lot of tech, which means, wow, they have 60k men. No, they have 24. Wow, God, they have 24k stack, but um, they've got mercs on top, that's why. So we're going to have to kind of swamp these with a lot of men quickly and fast, because they have a significant tech advantage over us, um, which means they have more morale. Well, it's not significant, it's three levels, but it's still a fair bit of morale. So we need to be careful. It's not going to be as easy as we think it's going to be. That's for sure. Are the fridge fighting anyone else yet? Nope. We're good if Rome could actually go back in and take them out, but... They don't want to at the moment. Another big war against Rome would suit us fine. Uh, you put you on drill, um, and you as well, I'll put you on drill. By the way, we need to get rid of the poxy light infantry that we've acquired. I don't want them. Go away. I know there's another one that got some troops like that as well. I think I should probably get rid. Oh no, there isn't. He was the only one. Oh well, that's fine. We need a new steward, and I need to put the best man for the job. Um, fortunately, we don't have really good people, so I'll put a Metel Archimanid. Going to be making a little bit less money because the other guy was quite efficient at making. He had like quite a bit of stewardship and he had good statesmanship, which means he was using a lot of his stewardship stat. Which in turn meant that he gave us a bit more money, so. And we're not making as much because, yeah, these mercs are costing quite a bit, but I'll just keep them hired, I think. It's pointless dehiring them. We can just use them to fight the war over here afterwards, so it's like pointless unhiring them, then hiring them again. It's just going to cost us a load of money. Um. Where's that claim? 65%. Still no allies? Nope. Anyway, liberation. So the Council of Sikamina have taken it upon themselves to free a sizable quantity of privately owned slaves. Yeah, I'm going to gain the gold here. I mean, fuck that shit. The governor of Palestine can gain more corruption if he wants. I just want the gold here. Which is going to be used to good effect. What I go for? Tribute could be good. Maybe the siege ability. Honestly, the siege ability could be... Yeah, we'll get that. Siege ability is good. Siege ability works for us. There's a couple of forts to take here as well. So the quicker we can take them down, the better. We've also got a few forts that are being built over here as well. Which means when we do declare the war against these guys, um, the forts are going to stop their movement pretty neatly. Now, why are you guys losing food? Oh, because I've got units resupplying in there. That's why. It won't be too long. 1st of April, 647. Is when we strike. Three pieces of territory is what we need to take. And then we only need this on the coast. I can feel it in my bones. We're so close. So damn close. I would like to make Judea a client as well. That would be pretty neat. We can guarantee, as Egypt, guarantee Judea. That would be pretty ironic, wouldn't it? Um, what now? Any decisions? Nothing left, really. But I'd like to do that divine sanction. That would be pretty cool. I need four deified rulers, and that's not really going to happen. 
Uh, Dimitra falls ill, so our guy falls ill. Um, can I... Can I heal you? Can we do something here, maybe? Um, oh, no, it's not him. It's Dimitra. It's his son. Isn't it? Of course, it's his son. Why did I think it was him? Um, I'm going to seek treatment for you. Might as well. I don't want you to die just yet. Um, I was going to do something. Um, laws, that's it. That's what I was going to do. I've completely forgot. My mind is kind of dying on me. I don't have the political influence to do it, though. Hmm. What's this one here? I need civic advances equal to 15. Pretty good stuff here, actually. Loyalty of... Well, National Freeman Output and the monthly wages for characters could be pretty good. The big you are, the monthly wage reduction is pretty neat. We pay 102 in wages. That's like a lot. That's a fucking lot. That's for, like loads. Um, disloyal province. Why? Yeah, we need to swap this now. I'm going to put you on probably local autonomy. Yeah, local autonomy. You. That should help you with the loyalty issue. I need to... Con we need to convert and assimilate as quickly as possible. Assimilate first. Assimilate, assimilate, assimilate. Siaspika Adekatalib died. You weren't very important, so... Screw you. Karusos, or Karos... Karosos. They want base medals. Ah, oh, we're very close to getting the claim here. Next month. Next month is when we strike. Next month is when we strike. And there we go. So we've got a claim on Bambis. Let's go. Let's quickly take these guys out. Don't need to wait any longer here. We've got a lot of aggressive expansion, but I feel like we can push it a little bit more, so... We'll get you there. We'll get you. We'll go on that fort there. We've caught this guy here. The good thing about this is the Mercs are going to be doing the job, so we're not going to lose any manpower. We're going to get a manpower back. I didn't even need to check the tactic. It's really, honestly, it's just... It's going to be damn easy. Um, let's take you off that. I should probably follow this guy over here next. I'll go on that fort. We'll wipe him out. We should be able to stack wipe him. Yeah, we can stack wipe him. He should have nowhere to retreat to, so he should be dead. Bakshides Xenophid died, and we now have a disloyal character, and it's this general. Um, that's not good. I don't like disloyal generals, so I am actually going to quickly bribe you. And then maybe grant you a holding just to keep you a little bit more loyal. Thank you. We stack quite. We did stack quite. And he's hired some mercs, but to no avail. He's got nowhere to go onto his land to actually, how to put it, get them out of exile. Because here they're stuck, you see. Because for them not to be in exile, they need to be on his land. And he can't get anywhere because we've got the forts, so he can't really go into any of his land. So the mercs will permanently be in exile. Another thing why these are going to be potentially dangerous is that these guys are going to be able to hire a shitload of um, of mercs. They have gold, like cash reserves, a lot of it. They have like five, six grand cash reserves. Which means they could hire mercs left, right and centre as much as they wanted to freaking hire. And what we'll do in the war against these tiny little tributaries down here... I probably won't take much Phrygian land. What we'll do, we'll try and break him up as big as much as possible. If we can break the guy up, like free some nations and stuff... Then that would be a success. Um, a discreditable alliance. So a young woman named Malatoral, of little note until now, has arrived at the palace in Memphis bearing a baby. Do I want any more kids? I don't think I do. We've got look at that. How many children do we have? Too many. So um, make this go away. I'll pay some gold, gain some tyranny, lose some legitimacy, but it's going to go away. I mean, it's not my problem. So, no, no, no. We have too many child. We have too many children, which means too many pretenders. So when the king actually dies, there's going to be a tiny little issue with um, loyalty because there are so many siblings. They're going to be fighting each other to the. To the end. They're just going to be trying to... Each other's throats. Trying to rip each other's eyes out. Yeah, look how much Mercs is hiring, you see. A lot. Right, let's go and get... Oh, no, he's attacking me here. Okay, so he's being crafty, but he's got no morale, so we should be fine. Yeah, he's got no morale, so we're good. See, look at all the Mercs he's hiring. He's hiring them all over the place. 121% please fault. There we go. So, now we can peace out with Bambis. We'll take this. Um, I already own that. Why is that a different colour? Is it it's occupied? No, it's not. I think it's just colouring in the... Yeah, it must be just be the colouring of the map. Anyway, we'll take Ambis. Thank you. Only get one aggressive expansion for it. That's fine. Thank you very much. And the guys are just going to 
banished and get the aggressive expansion down a little bit. Don't want to bring them into the family. They're not the same culture, so they can just go away. Um, anyway, we've got Bambis now. We've got another big city there. Um, this is a settlement that I don't want to fall on. So let's see what we can do here. Do I want a fort somewhere down here? I probably want one here, to be honest, to stop movement. I could do one there, actually. Yeah, let's get a f couple of forts on here. I'll get a couple of temples as well. Oh, theatres, sorry. Just to stop movement further down here. It just stops everything. Palmyra stops the movement down there. Yeah, there's not really many areas you can move to. Now, we have this new city here. We're going to get rid of the buildings that it's got in here. It's got some really bad buildings. Marketplaces, the, f the bloody, what's it? It's the um, foundries and stuff. Forum's going to go. The granary can also go. And what we'll do is we'll fort up to level 3. And we will theatre up three times. So now they're ready and good to go. The next thing we do is get ready to take these guys out. So... Got a Merc Band here, and a Merc Band there. So we'll get these two Merc Bands ready. These can siege these two down. So the trick with these guys here, because they have pretty decent tech advantage and they have so much gold, is to occupy every single piece of land they can so they can't bring their Mercs back on it, so they'll be permanently in exile. That's what we need to do. And here we need three troops and there one troop. We can do that easy. Easy, easy, easy. And hopefully by the time we are sieging all this, the forts we've built up in up in the north here will block the fridge's advance, and then we could actually counterattack before he takes the forts. Who is also pissed? You, the Chancellor. Go away. I'm not really bothered about you. You're not really that important. Uh, Mission-wise, I mean, this is really not important. I could probably abort the mission and see what we've got, actually. Yeah, again, it's pretty generic. Let's have a look at what the growth of Sivanaika does. I mean, it's, there's no particular reason for me to actually go down this slight route. Because it doesn't really give that much. And we can just focus our efforts anyway on taking over the lands needed to form to do the New Kingdom achievement. Anyway, so we've got the dudes back. Um, when's the claims finish? Very close. Got a lot of manpower. The fridge is at war with... Oh, okay, they're occupied. So we might be able to do something... But I get an alliance with Carthage now. No, they're a lesser power compared to us. Or well, they're not. Egypt is a great power. Okay, so great powers can't sign alliances. Okay, we can only guarantee nations. Can I guarantee Judea? No. They sh I, I don't know why they're not going to let me guarantee them. They should because... How to put it? I mean... They are on their own, and they're surrounded by Egypt here, who are massive. And anyway, we've got claims all over the place. Thank you. Now, the Levantine city state of Sidon wants to import stone. You can know I'm going to kill you, so Rhodes can have it, and the Seleucids can have the grain. We've got the manpower. We've got the experience. Do I have the right things? We do have the right ideas. We've got the elite soldiery for the discipline, which I do like. And I think we're ready to go. I mean, all right, we've got 38 aggressive expansion, but it's not really doing much. I mean, God, 80% of our pops, pretty much, are of our culture. So, why would I need to change anything? Um, let's just check in the capital region here, or the capital areas. What? Wow, we're losing food here. Yeah, we, we are losing food. We need to import more stuff. Maybe probably get a surplus of... Um... What the hell is this bug? I can have 79 hops in there. Wow. That's a lot. Um, maybe if we move some of the hops around. Maybe from here. I could move some from Egypt into here. Yeah, let's move some from Egypt into there. Now we should make a little bit more. Now we make five. Five extra um, livestock, which means the food problem should have been solved. Is it going to be solved? Or at least 20 goddamn, I mean, the citizens there are eating the food like crazy. Uh, pictures of the ox. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Screw you. 
Is that not working? Or do I have to wait for the end of the month? I think I might have to wait till the end of the month to see what actually... Yeah, there we go. So it's just solved the problem. Slightly. Um, Religious-wise... Wow, still got a lot of pops to change religion. Here as well. Got a lot of different religions. The religion is... Uh, yeah, it's not totally unified, is it? Culture-wise, yes, but... Kind of some big, big swathes of um, Hellenic religious pops kind of settled around the area. So we need to do... We need to get rid of them. Well, that is something for another time. Um, you guys, I'll reorganise quickly. Might as well. There's no reason not to. And let's get moving. So you're going to go and deal with the Sidon. So you say it's Sidon. I'm hoping that by declaring war on one, they all join. That's what I'm hoping. I think that's what will happen. It should happen anyway. Um, so then I want one over here. Okay. I'm going to want... I think they're both moving, yes they are. I'm gonna want one over the other side. I might actually hire these mercs just because we can I know I can't, I don't have enough gold to do so. Um and you are going to go here. Okay. I think they're all moving. We have one extra stack of twenty seven thousand men to move. And I think I'll probably put you guys Maybe just behind here, just in case. Right, let's go for the Omen. I'm going to go for the National Slave Output. Thank you. Might help us get a little bit more cash. How much would these cost maintenance per month? Oh, I can't even hire them ones. Oh no, I need um, 707 gold. What about you? Nah, I don't need to hire anybody. We could just easily get these guys. It's like, yeah, why not? But they do have a lot of money to hire stuff. That is the only kind of worry I have. That they're going to spend all the money, hire a shitload of mercs. But if someone else declare war on the fridge, it would be nice. I mean, they've still got a load of land. Look up all here around the Black Sea and stuff. It's like, oh God. Let's have a look at the map, by the way, because I've not had a look at it for ages. Rome's pretty big. Traveria are massive. I've never really seen something this big in Gaul. Um... Carthage are pretty damn big. They've got nearly all of Hispania. And I very rarely see them get it all. And I very rarely see big entities like this. There's a lot of big entities. I mean, we've got the Seleucids, Egypt, which are us, Bridge, Rome, Carthage, Trevia. Very rarely see big blobs like this. A lot of big blobs. Very few small nations, a lot of big blobs. And I've very rarely seen the fridge anyway expand as much as they have done in this campaign. I mean, normally they never even get a foothold over in Greece. They very rarely expand over this side, all the way over the Black Sea. I mean, if we didn't stop them, they would... God, it would have been game over. I mean, they even had part of Cyrenaica, for God's sake. Okay, we need a new physician. I'm going to put the best man for the job. Actually, no, I'll put one of the minor guys. I don't want to put just all major families in because they'll have too much power. So what we got here, we've got you going on there, you going there, you going there. I think we're good. I've got some forts built already. So it's going to slow them down. Definitely slow the fridge down. I think we're fine. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? So if I was to declare war on these guys here, um, would they bring in... We'll bring in... Who would they bring in? Yeah, they wouldn't bring in the, the other guys, would they? What about if I declared war on you? Oh, they're not bringing everybody in. I thought they would have brought everybody in. Let's declare war on you. Well, you know what? We'll declare war on one, and then it doesn't matter. What we'll do is we'll just free... We'll just free them up in a peace deal, then we'll eat them afterwards. I mean, why not do it that way? So I'll just declare war on Sidon here, the tiny. And we'll see who, who they bring in. So let's do this. And um, we'll bring in our friend. No problem. Let's go. Time to go. Round five, fridge boy. Round fucking five. So anyway, you're going to go there and kill this guy. Actually, force march you quickly, by the way. There we go. And now we're going to see who joins the damn war. Um, let's go into the Diplo, actually, the diplomacy, the diplomacy map mode. Yeah, they're not joining. What a shame. Oh, well, it looks like we can turn our attention to other things then. So the elephants are going to go take down that fort. They can just go and take this area down because no one else, they can't even get past that bit. Um, then we need to send maybe this 27k stack 
over to here, I think, would be the best thing to do. Then we'll send... The Merc Band is going to go... Are Comagene at war with us? No, they're not. Are they independent? No. Well, it looks like there's only one front, which is this way. And well, they he could walk through Comagene, but got, we've got forts all over the place. So let's go through the... Um, let's go to the area over here. We'll start taking some of this stuff down. So I'll move you here. This 49k stack is going to go here. Then we'll get you through here. We'll just bring them. We'll just flood through the area here. How many more have I got to move? Two. Where are you going? I thought I moved my elephant army over to the other side. Oh well, we'll move you there then. Oh no, that fort's blocking it, of course. So I have to get that fort first. Then we'll move this dude over to here i think we'll help yeah we'll help this guy in case he brings in a big force okay i'm happy with that that's pretty good well actually should i help this guy i might actually help him out to be honest what tactic is he going to go for he's not going to go for he might go for skirmishing i'm going to guess he's going to go skirmishing oh no we didn't guess right yeah, I don't even need to bring you there. Who are you going to go and join, by the way? I can't remember. We'll have to see afterwards. I mean, patience is a virtue. So, Demit King Moroid is becoming increasingly restless of late. Um, he believes that his statue is deserving of a key role in our government. So, you're my son. But I'm not going to give you anything. Or I could turn you into physician. I could make you physician. You were physician at one point, I remember, but you were stealing from us. Where are you? You've got two finesse. You're like really bad. But I'll put you anyway. At least we'll give us money after that. That's the good thing. You'll give us a bit of cash. Okay, so he's been dealt with. That's fine. Now this 27k stack is going to go up here. Go and help this guy out. And let's move. Now we'll try and break up the fridge as much as possible here. Because I don't want any more land, to be honest. I mean, I don't want it. We don't need any more land. I just want to break him up now. Um, crisis in Comagene, okay? That's not really our problem. Okay, this is being seized down. You see he's hiring a load of mercs here. That's the only thing I worry about. I probably should have maybe declared war on the fridge and then get these guys to be... to peace out for independence. Maybe, because look how much men he's hiring over here. I might actually keep you guys down here, to be honest, with him. I am going to keep you down there with him. But let's catch this dude. Oh no, I can't. Oh, I have caught him. Okay, well, I'll leave Phalanx on. Don't need to change it. Let's start doing some serious damage. Yeah, I'm just worried about all these guys here. I mean, okay, they're exiled. Or this guy isn't exiled, so we need to go and get him. Uh, we are victorious up here. That was pretty damn easy. Let's go over here then. Let's go and take his fort there. God, so many damn... What the hell? Are you on... Oh, of course, they're allied... That's, that's allied land, isn't it? So, of course, what's happening is that he's going on to his allied land there, which is considering it to be non-exiled land, which means that this douchebag can actually... Yeah, you can actually be a pain in the arse over there. That's really annoying. We might have to do something about that, because that is going to be a big pain. A very big pain. Anyway, let's keep moving you guys around. Let's um, occupy as much stuff as we can here. Oh, what do you want? Salt? No problem. Okay, befitting stature. He likes the position we gave him, so he's giving us more money. Um, I might actually hire some more mercs if I can. Yeah, I'm going to hire you. I'm going to hire these mercs. You never know. You really never know. Um, can I catch you? I can probably get you, but you've got more men than me, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go down here. You need to get off Force March quickly. 
you need to go on unit organization. I'll put you just behind. We've got a small force there, which we will go and deal with. What about over here? The siege is going okay. Yeah, we need to go and help this guy out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you guys on... Actually, I'll change this up. So you're going to go force march on here. I'll quickly get you on there when you arrive. 15th of August. Okay, and then we'll swap you guys out and we'll go and help this fella. I think we might actually win it. We've got the right tactics. So I think that actually might have helped. Here we've got a big fight going on. There we go, we beat him. He's going to probably try and attack us some more. Okay, there's 37,000 men there. Got the right tactic? No, we haven't. Right, let's keep moving forward. I don't think I need to actually bring any reinforcements there. Um, in the midst of a swirling engagement, Awi Ten Yisboki and Katalid the Arabian was struck by a rogue arrow. Shielded by loyal soldiers, he was rushed off to the battlefield and fell into the care of our best healers. Damn. So he is either going to die, or he's not dead just yet. Yeah, we need to help that guy, definitely. Um, let's get you fellas over here quickly. Yeah, he needs help. God, there's so many goddamn men. Mackinon has brought in a lot of men here as well. Have I bit off more than I could chew here? I've probably overcomplicated things. Um, anyway, Robert at court. So lately our High King Mehetkide Moroid has come into conflict with Makirinsan Taharkid at every turn decision. Their opinions persistently clashing. Who do I side with? Oh, for no one, I lose a bit of popularity. Fine, have your way. I'm in the middle of a war, my friend, so I'm not going to really help you that much. But how much men has he got? A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. We need to help. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's retreat here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and concentrate everything we've got together now. We're going to need to do that. Um, you're going to be pulled off of the siege. Okay. Oh my god. How the hell is that happening? When do you arrive? 5th of October. That's not cool. That's really not cool. Okay, come on. Let's pull you guys back. I need to probably force march you fellas, to be honest. Okay, you're going to be force marched all the way down here. God, he's counter-attacking with a lot of men. Makadon must have a decent tech advantage. That's, must, that's the only reason why. I oh, know they've got the same tech as us, but... Wow. Um, you're going to go over here. God, he's got even more men coming in. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Okay, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Um, okay, so you need to get over here. We need to do one big major strike against these guys. So that's what we're going to do. So you're going to come around here. Uh, you're going to go there. Follow the route I want you to follow and just stop being a dick. Okay? And then we're going to try and strike in one big blow. Right, come on, smash him. Okay, the siege over there has been won. Right, you're coming over here now. We need more help. Yeah, you need more help, my friend. Um, you're going to be off that and probably put you back on unit reorganisation. Actually, no, you're, on, oh, you're already on unit reorganisation. Right, let's reorganise you guys. How many men has he got? Fucking hell, he's got a lot. Come on, smash him. Finish him off. There we go. So he's going to come and try and help him out, but that's got rid of him. They're retreating all the way up there. Now we stick together and we do something. Yeah, we need to beat... God, he's got all of his friends in. Which makes it very, very tricky. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I may have actually done the wrong thing here. Might have just... <laughs> might have just done the fucking wrong thing. Um, I think we're still going to be able to get out of it, but I've made it a lot more complicated than it originally should have been. But I've caught you, my friend. You're fucking dead. Okay, so he's dead. We'll get you off unit reorganisation. Let's go over here now. We'll get you off force march, by the way. Thank you. Um, let's go over here now. We'll deal with this guy. 
We just need to deal with all of his major stacks, to be honest. We're going to go maybe over here and deal with this dude. Actually, no, you're not. You're going to go over here. So all you guys are fighting. Come on. There we go. So all of the men are in here now. That's another big battle. Thank you. Now we're going to move here and catch this guy and finish him off. We're going to go and join him. We just need to win the major battles here. It's like the most important thing. We can win all the major battles. Wow, they have like a lot. I mean, I think these tiny little city states, they have a massive tech advantage. Which complicates things quite a bit. Uh, what do they want? Salt, no problem. Take the salt, take the salt. Um, okay, so we're here now. Um, let's move down to here. And what we need to do is just smash as many as his, of, of his men as possible. This has got a why it's got a full quickly. How many forts has he got on there? We've got four forts. That's why. Jesus Christ. No wonder. Anyway, let's go back into our land here. We'll reorganise a bit. Get some more. Um, get some more morale back. Um, same for these mercs here. As long as we can just push this, keep pushing this guy back and keep smashing his main forces, then oh god. Yeah, we need to pull back here. There's a lot of men. Yeah, we're going to pull the way back. Jesus Christ, there's so many men. Yeah, we need to retreat, pull back. Deal with these guys as well. We're being a pain. If we can just concentrate all of our troops together, then we should be fine. Where's the rest of my men? Have you all gone? Have I like lost so many men there or something? Oh no, God, I thought I was a bug. I know it's when I zoom. Oh, it's 124k. Okay, Jesus Christ. Um, that scared me, actually. I was thinking, why can I only see 24? But he's hidden behind the flag. Um, so you're going to go and uh, help this guy up here. Okay, I'm still making enough money. What I'll probably do is swap this. Going to go for the extra morale of armies here. That's going to definitely help us. Are these barbs still pissing me off? Where did you, for God's sake, go and get them? At least they can't run off there. Okay, so, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here quickly because it's going to be a long one otherwise. We'll continue the war in the next one. Um, I might have been overconfident in the planning of this war, to be honest. Um, I probably shouldn't have done it that way. I probably should have done another war against just the fridge on his own. And then what we could have done is we could have then broke up the three here and then take, took them on one by one. So I think I've bitten off more than I could chew. But anyway, I'm still confident that we can do it. I'm fairly confident. Just take the war goal and then do the major do the major battles and we should be fine. Um, but um, yeah, anyway, again, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more important OM content, also consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said, thanks again for being here, people. And I will hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.